What's up, y'all? It's Nate Almighty, a.k.a. The Global Dark Skin Ambassador with another Power Book 2 Ghost, Season 4, Theory and Prediction. And let's talk about the extent that Diana and Drew will go in order to keep their lives safe and protect themselves from being outed as the people who really set Tariq up in order to get him to take out Monet, right? Gave him the motive and everything. We all know that at some point, this secret will get out. I believe by episode five, no later than six, Monet is going to be able to connect the dots. Kane may connect the dots earlier, but be in denial about it. I believe it is going to go that way, but we're still going to see, right? We're going to see Drew and Diana go through the motions of trying to do everything they can in order to protect themselves and keep their secrets safe. They're gonna have to lie to Monet. They're gonna have to lie to Kane. They're gonna have to try to cover up all their tracks. And I seen a video made a couple weeks ago by Getting Out I Live, where he speaks about how Drew and uh, Diana may have to kill Kate Egan in order to protect their secrets, right? And cover up their tracks. And not only do I believe that, because I'm going to expound on that and the possibility of that happening, but I also believe that they will have to kill Tasha as well in order to cover up their secret. Because once Tasha is gone and K. Egan is gone, then all, all there is is he said, she said, then it's just Tariq's word versus the Tahada's word, right? Which makes it harder for Tariq to plead his case in the situation to Monet, which I also believe that at some point, Tariq and Monet are going to talk face to face, right? So, first let's talk about the the K. Egan situation, right? I think that they're going to try. I think they're definitely going to try being that the writers could just write it in that way. Diana already knows where she lives. Initially, no one's going to think about protecting K. Egan. K. Egan is easier to get to than Tasha, right? I think that they're going to try. K. Egan might even get shot. She might even get shot, right? I don't believe she's going to die. I think that she's going to get shot at. She might get shot. She's not going to die. But once that happens, right... Tommy is going to make sure that his mother gets to him in Chicago. I think that K. Egan is going to become a regular character, right? In Power Book Full Force. Because there's a whole lot of character development within that show. And there is no further character development with her on Ghost. She has no purpose there. But when you bring her to Chicago, now you have the fact that they're still going to be looking for that money that her mother hid somewhere. And I think she's going to find it. She's going to find it, right? Then you have then you have the fact that her and Tommy do not have the best kind of relationship, even though we know that they love each other. They have to build on that. Then you have Tommy's brother, JP, who is also K. Egan's son. They're going to be building a relationship. And you know, JP has already shown that he's more forgiving than Tommy is. You know, being that he hasn't been let down as many times as Tommy. Also, you have JP's son. JP's son, who will want to know who his mother is. I mean, his grandmother is. Also, you have JP's father, who's still alive. They're going to want to... They're going to want to... Put them together and have them reconcile their relationship. There's a lot of apologies in order and all that other stuff, right? Maybe even have them dating each other again. Who knows, right? Who knows? But there's more character development for K. Egan and Power Book Four Force than Ghost. So it's like they could easily, you know, just have her killed off and force the situation. You know, everyone would want Tommy to leave everything he's doing in Chicago and go out of his way to 
go to go back to New York after he just left and help Tariq deal with the Tahadis, I do not think it's going to go that way. I do not think it's going to go that way. I think there may even be a situation where the Tahadis are on their way. Not the Tahadis, but yes, the Tahadis, Drew and Diana, or just Drew, because Drew's the shooter, on his way to do something to Kate. And it's possible that Tasha will be there to help. Tasha and Tariq will be there to help. Tasha, Tariq, Braden, and them will be there to help and fend off Drew. That could be that could be the way Drew ends up dying. You know, but even though I feel like chances are Kane to be the one to do it, but that could be one of the ways that Drew ends up dying. Because I personally feel like Drew's not gonna make it past season four. It's only so much they could do with his character now. They really wrote him into like it's it's only certain things gonna happen. He gonna go to jail or he gonna die. They got new characters coming in. There's going to be new gangsters coming in. It ain't really no room for Drew no more, right? I feel like they're going to try something. Kate is going to survive. She's going to get... And I feel like Tariq is going to send her on the plane to be with her sons. That's what's going to happen with that, right? Now, with Tasha, Tasha is someone who's going to be harder to, to, to find because she's going to be bouncing around on her own, even though... I don't know how the writer is going to write this in, but how does Tasha have any money? How does she have any money to get these guns? Being this big Escalade truck and do shootouts, move around how she want. Where is she getting her money from? Ghost didn't leave her any money. We didn't see Tariq give her any money. We didn't see her ask Tariq for any money, any kind of help. So I, what are we doing? But this is someone else who Drew and Diana will have to kill in order to protect themselves and keep their secret safe. Because if Tasha makes it to Monet, if she finds a way to talk to Monet, she's going to get Monet to believe the truth. Because Tasha is going to say, listen, I shot you. I did it. I did it because you gave my address with my kids and my mother to Tommy. You gave my address to Tommy. She's going to say, I wouldn't do that. I would not have your kid. I would not put your kids in a position to be killed. They're going to have that aha moment. And Monet, who already was thinking that Diana may have been lying to her. Because she's going to see that Diana did something that she would do. That's how it's going to go. There, I believe that they could try something before Tasha gets the opportunity to talk to Monet. Maybe they'll be successful, maybe not. Most likely, probably not. I say that they should do it. What else are we doing with Tasha? Are we going to see Tasha be in a bunch of shootouts now? We're going to see Tasha be, be damn Tariq's superhero. Tasha, who's only been in one shootout, only two shootings that we know of. We're going to have Tasha be this accurate shooter now after we haven't seen her character development. We haven't seen her in the damn, uh, her at the, at the gun range. You know what I'm saying? Shooting the paper in the head and the chest multiple times. Are we just going to have Tasha become this real big, super gangster boss queen pin after everything that they went through? We already have one of those. We have Monet. This is why I do not believe Tasha is going to make it past season four. She has to go. So maybe they'll write it off like that. Maybe they'll try to get Kate. It ain't going to work, but they may succeed with Tasha, which I feel like we need to see. I wouldn't be mad if I wouldn't be mad if Drew gets Tasha, Tariq gets Drew. I wouldn't be mad. I would not be mad at that, you know, because we also need to see Tasha go so we can see that extra level of savagery from Tariq because that there is a whole extra level, you know what I'm saying? There's a whole, he has a whole 
You see glimpses of it when he got mad at Effie, when he gets angry. That inner James St. Patrick that he got in him. You haven't seen him. We have yet to see him kill in anger yet. You know, he was angry when he shot his father, but it wasn't just a blind rage. We haven't seen that from him yet. And I believe that the writers are going to make it happen in season four. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Am I bugging? Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.